Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jay with Caption Photography Media. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to build your own preset and how to save a preset and basically have that as a reference for any photos in the future. Uh, perhaps you're trying to maintain a certain style or a certain look to your photos. This is a really great way to be able to keep track of that and be able to see as you go along as well if you still want to keep that style or you want to tweak it uh, it's a really simple way of doing that and it also really streamlines your editing process so we're going to jump right into it here i've got this uh, nice picture of my puppy as you can see and so i actually did go ahead and create a couple of presets uh, with this particular edit because this is a yearly trip that we do as a family out to a cabin that's uh, just a few hours away from where we live and so yeah I'm gonna be taking a lot more photos so I just wanted to quickly do this one with uh, the pup and then I might do uh, a little bit more detail and touch up with it uh, but I'm just gonna show you what I did here so let's say we want to <clears throat> just start from scratch we're going to reset the photo. Okay, so that's raw right out of camera. So basically what I want to do here is I want to uh, boost the photo a little bit, give it a little bit more life. So we're going to go up here. And as you can see, all the settings are flatline. It's just out of camera. It's a little bit on the cool side. So we're just going to take this handy dandy little eyedropper tool here and see if we can get the right sort of white balance that's pretty good there i like that and that's that's really her color there so she's got a little bit of brown marking she looks a little bit like a coyote so the photo looks kind of dull a little bit it looks like the, it's kind of some depth tone so we're gonna just bump the contrast a little bit and actually i don't mind using the contrast tool but i like to do my contrast a la my own style using the blacks and the whites and i think we're just gonna raise the exposure just a teeny bit and give that snow in the background a little bit more a little bit less texture and i think i want to boost my highlights just a teeny bit i don't know sometimes i feel like i overexpose my photos just a tiny bit when i'm editing but i really like bright and cool presence with these kinds of photos especially when it comes to animals so i think i want to just give the fur just a teeny bit more texture you want to be careful with this tool too because you can start to introduce some noise in your editing when you're doing this. So just be careful with that. Don't go too crazy. Maybe adjust my clarity. So I'm bring it down. Just give her a teeny bit of a haze. A teeny bit of a halo effect, I guess, maybe. I'm gonna start rambling here. Actually, I kinda like that right there. So it gives her a little bit more texture in her fur. And I want just to take out some of the kind of haziness all over the photo. Well, I like that pretty good. That's pretty nice. So we're not going to do anything else to the photo. But let's say you like this. Maybe just bring the exposure up just a teeny bit more right there. Yeah, I like that a lot. She looks so sweet. And now your photo is good and done. It's ready. You're like, okay, I'm pretty impressed with that. <clears throat> so what you do is when your photo is highlighted, you go over to the develop uh, menu item here in the, in the menu bar and very simple where it says new preset you hit new preset and here it gives you an option to name your preset so let's say here puppy love let's say oh yours clear and bright salt all and in here you can actually create your own new group so if you um this is really useful if you want to keep your moody presets separate from your clean presets so you just create a new group as it says here on the screen it says new group up there just create your new group i have one here it's called jay's personal collection and that's really what i throw my favorites in and so puppy love outdoors clear and bright in jay's personal collection and okay and then we go create and voila, if I go over here to my preset library, it says Jay's personal collection, and you will find Puppy Love, outdoors, clear and bright. So that's the one that we got right there. And if you reset it, you see the difference in the photo. It looks really cool. You go over here to your presets, gives you a little bit of a preview, just float over it. And that's the one that I want. All right, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.